Hey everybody, Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. I'm here at the bench with a Lee Nielsen number no. four bronze smoother and a brand new Wood Weaver number no. four smoother. Let's see how they stack up to each other. During the holidays, Woodcraft had a sale on their number no. four Wood Weaver plane, and I purchased mine for $120, $119.99, and it was regularly $149. 99 it's brand new in the box my number four bronze smoother here from Lee Nielsen this bad boy is $350 so today what we're gonna do is see if this plane can give us the same results as this plane doing the same work I did here on this plane the Lee Nielsen to prep it for work here in the shop I'm gonna take it out of the box And then it is enclosed inside of a plastic bag. So let's take a look at this. First off, just like any plane or tool that would come into the shop, it's got a whole bunch of different uh, chemicals on it to protect it from rusting. And the first thing we need to do is clean that off. But just real quick, I kind of want to get a feel for the heft. I think they're about the same weight, pretty much. There may be a difference, but they feel pretty much the same in the hand. From first appearances, it looks like the tote in the back is a little bit wider on the Wood River than it is on the Lee Nelson. Um, both of these are number four, but the length of the body is slightly different. Blades and the chip breakers look like they're pretty much the exact same thickness. So let's take it apart, get it cleaned up, and get some blade sharpened. With my honing jig set at 25 degrees, I lock down my blade and then change the rollers to bring it to a two degree micro bevel. My next step is to just slightly chamfer the blade. I do this by applying pressure on either side of the blade with equal strokes. Now with the Lee Nielsen blade, I did the same thing. I put it into my honing jig at 25 degrees, set a secondary bevel of roughly two degrees, and then I made my passes, sharpened it, and gave it a little bit of a chamfer. Now, with all that sharpening done, let's put these planes back together. The bench here, you see me taking a couple swipes first with my Lee Nielsen number four. I keep making passes and I keep trying to get the adjuster, get the blade squared up, and I just can't get it yet. I took a ton of shavings with both of these planes, and here are my thoughts. Can both of these planes take really nice shavings? Absolutely. I'm consistently able to get down to a thousandth of an inch or less on this plane, and on the Wood River, I could get to just a little bit thicker than a thousandth of an inch. However, the adjustments on the Lee Nielsen are superior to the Wood River plane, and the knob in the back is smaller here than it is here, and that allows for easier access to adjust the frog, to move it forward and backwards, to close or open up the throat. The other really big thing about this adjustment knob on both of them is the play in the knob itself. So the screw threads on the Lee Nielsen are tighter than the screw thread threads on the Wood River plane. What does that mean? Well, it's easier to fine tune that adjustment for the right thickness that you're shooting for be it really thick, or are you trying to dial it in so you take a really nice thin shaving? That was very hard for me to get here. It was a lot of playing with the adjustment knob to move the blade back and forth until I was able to get that. And that, to me, is worth $200 in itself. Now, did I flatten the soles on either one of these planes? No. When I bought this plane, I've never flattened the sole since I purchased it, and I didn't want to do that here either. Could I get better results if I flattened the sole of the Wood River plane? Maybe. Did I clean up the chip breaker at all? No. I never touched the chip breaker here, and I never touched it on the Wood River plane. If I touched it there, maybe I'd be able to get a slightly better connection to the actual blade itself, and and then, again, lead to better shavings. Um, sure, that might help as well. But I really wanted to do the same amount of work I did on this plane as I did here, which was very little. 
All I ever do with this thing is sharpen it and clean it, and that's what I want to do here. So that $200 difference to me is worth every single penny to be able to come into the shop and get consistent results easier than I would with this plane. Now, say, okay, well, Matthew, well, there's a big difference in price. Absolutely. You have to ask yourself this. How much is your time worth? Is it worth $200 over the next 10 years that you're gonna be woodworking or 20 years? That's up to you, that's a decision only you can make. Um, I think they're both really great planes. For me, I'd pick the Lee Nielsen over the Wood River. But again, that's just me and my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave those in the comments below. Maybe you've owned both of these planes. Maybe you've owned one and upgraded to the other or you've given them as gifts or used them. I wanna know what your experiences with both of these planes are. As always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit the like button, share the timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us there as well. And as always, have a great week in your shop.